Paxvobiscum, I was named the RA of North and South Pius. So as you know, South and North Pius are connected. South Pius is where the freshmen live. North Pius is where the sophomores live. And so in North Pius, there's about, I think, 12 guys, and South Pius has 13 or something like that. But there's 25 of us total, and so I'm RA. And so last night, we actually had our first like meeting and party, and it was also the feast of St. Pius X. August 21st, which is, of course, our patron saint of our dorm. So we also wanted to have a little party for that. And essentially, I just went over the rules. As RA, you don't have, like, tons of stuff to do. All I really make sure is that people's rooms are generally clean. I think, like, once a, uh, once a semester, I'll go through and make sure they're clean. Make sure anyone doesn't have illegal stuff like drugs, candles. <gasps> a candle! No, because of fires. Like, ovens, microwaves, real simple stuff like that. Uh, I make cleaning schedules for the semester, and then a guy from north and a guy from south, uh, they make sure that the family room is kind of clean for the week. Generally, it should be pretty easy because we try to enforce and the guys, like, clean up after yourself. Like, I'm not your mother. You're an adult. You're 18. You can clean up your messes. You know what I mean? If you do any cooking, wash your dishes, dry them, put them away, things like that. Uh, you know, if you have laundry in the washer, take it out because then it'll get moldy. If you have laundry in the dryer, take it out because then it'll get wrinkly. You know, just kind of things like that. We went over kind of the rules for the fridge. Uh, if you have food in the fridge, you got to put your name on it. If you don't, anyone can take it and it's kind of like up to the community. Another rule we have is there's a whiteboard in our family room where the, the television is. And essentially, you just kind of put down on the whiteboard what time you're reserving it. Uh, and kind of like what you're going to be doing, what you're showing. Just so if someone's walking through the family room and they see, oh, this guy's showing a movie Friday 7.30, he's showing Pirates of the Caribbean or whatever, uh, then people can, you know, kind of join to watch that. And then you avoid any sort of conflict of, well, I want to use it for this and I want to use it for that. Okay, well, who had it on the whiteboard, you know? And so we had that little meeting. We prayed night prayer complaint together as a dorm, which was nice. And then we had a small little party because, of course, it was... Pius X feast day, which is a patron saint of our dorm. So I had run to the store, I got in a few things, we had a little celebration. The new guys arrived here, uh, what is it, nine days ago, I guess, on that Sunday. So it was nice just to see how well they were already, you know, forming relationships with each other, forming relationships with guys in their diocese, and of course with us in the hall opposite them. It's just beautiful to see like how uh, welcoming we are of the seminary community, right? You can't have community if you don't have community you know you got to get together you got to talk and yeah it's going to be a little awkward at first because everyone knows each other but just you know daily praying together eating together classes together being in the dorm together it really just kind of accelerates i would say the pace at which you form friendships and so it's just nice to see that you know guys are opening up they're talking to each other and they're forming great relationships that will you know last all like all the time they're here and pretty much honestly for the rest of your life you know like this is where you're formed this is where you're like formed you know formed as a man and like that's gonna leave a mark you know on you it, you know positive or negative you know like what you experience here uh does mean a lot to most of the guys here and that's why we want it to be such a good experience uh just because like you know to be formed as a man of god you know you need that strong community you need that good catholic manhood and that's one of the things i love here about saint ben's and i hope to kind of uh lead by example for my uh seminarian brothers that i have i have been put in charge of that we can have a great year and that i lead them well as ra so jesus mary joseph pray for us